Imagine a Tesla that's even more affordable, charges faster, and runs on a battery built with abundant materials instead of expensive metals. Sounds like a game changer, right? Well, Tesla just took a huge step in that direction with its latest 4680 battery update, but there's more to the story. This isn't just about better performance. It's about breaking China's dominance in battery technology and navigating the complex world of US policies. Let's get into it. Tesla's 4680 battery has been a hot topic since its announcement, but now there's a new version that changes everything, a lithium iron phosphate LFP variant. Unlike traditional lithium ion batteries, this one ditches expensive materials like nickel, cobalt, and aluminum, replacing them with iron, which is widely available and cheaper. Nonetheless, this holds significance. Though LFP batteries do not boast the highest energy densities, they are affordable and last long, hence their suitability for a Tesla-budgeted electric vehicle program. This means cheaper Model 3s, Model Ys, and even the yet-to-be-launched compact car from Tesla could make use of this technology. The problem is, however, that LFP battery production has been dominated by China for many years, and that is part of what Tesla needs to overcome. For years, China has had a monopoly on the LFP battery market, mainly because of CATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited, the largest battery manufacturer in the entire world. Their monopoly comes from the patents they hold on LFP technology, which kept car manufacturers like Tesla having only one option, to import batteries directly from China. But here is the main catch. Key patents expired some time ago, thus paving the way for companies like Tesla to manufacture LFP batteries independently. Since 2021, Tesla has been using KATL's LFP cells in the Model 3 and Model Y, particularly in Giga Shanghai-made vehicles. Now, with the patent barrier gone, Tesla is making moves to develop and produce its own LFP batteries. And it's not merely about cutting costs. There is yet another huge factor of concern, the policies of the U.S. government. The Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, places restrictions on American automakers as to how they should source their EV batteries. It provides huge tax credits for EVs, but with the qualifier that batteries are American-made or produced in allied countries, thus the huge hurdle for Tesla should it continue relying on LFP batteries from China. So, what is the answer in Tesla's case? It is making LFP batteries in America. The company has been developing its own LFP cathode production process for years. And according to former Tesla VP Drew Baglino, it is not only scalable, but also cheaper than Chinese alternatives without tariffs. And speaking of tariffs, there's a potential wild card in this story. If Donald Trump returns to office, he's promised to cancel EV tax credits, but also impose heavy tariffs on Chinese battery materials. That would make relying on Chinese LFP batteries even more expensive, reinforcing Tesla's push for domestic production. Tesla has reportedly been conducting LFP production trials since at least 2022, with a 100-ton test batch completed by 2023. This means Tesla isn't just planning for the future, it's already moving toward US-made LFP batteries. And this is just the beginning. Tesla isn't stopping with just one new battery type. Four new 4680 battery variants are coming by 2026, including one that could power the Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and RoboTaxi. Tesla isn't just experimenting with LFP batteries. It's working on bringing full-scale production in-house. The goal? Reduce reliance on China, secure US government incentives, and lower costs for its future EV lineup. Sources indicate that the company has begun production testing of LFP batteries and is establishing a dedicated plant in North America for this purpose. Tesla's strategy involves vertical integration by building a battery supply chain without third parties like CATL, the company's own version of the 4680 cells. Not only is the above cost-cutting, 
but it also makes one eligible for the full $7,500 EV tax credit based on new legislation called the Inflation Reduction Act. Countries that will use LFP batteries from China, for example, cannot qualify for this incentive, thus making their cars are costlier for US buyers. Use this production policy to have their low-priced Model 3 and Model Y stay eligible and keep them in the competition. Such movements in Tesla are not ending there as well. The Tesla company has also laid down plans for the coming forth of four different new versions of the 4680 battery, each of which will be optimized for the different categories of the EV lineup. Tesla's original 4680 battery was designed for range improvement, efficiency, and scalability in production. Now though, it is the development phase of creating four more new products, with each designed for a specific purpose. Standard 4680. This is the baseline version, already being used in some Model Ys. High Nickel 4680, designed for long-range and performance EVs, including higher-end Model S, Model X, and possibly even the Roadster. LFP 4680-A, cost-effective version for affordable EVs, including the rumored $25,000 Tesla compact car. 4680 for heavy-duty vehicles, a high-capacity version meant for Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and RoboTaxi. The Cybertruck, expected to use an advanced version of the 4680, will be Tesla's first major test of this next-gen battery tech. If it proves successful, Tesla's entire lineup could shift to 4,680 cells, increasing efficiency and reducing reliance on third-party suppliers. But Tesla's future isn't just about cars, it's also about redefining the EV experience itself. Tesla's mission isn't just to make EVs mainstream, it's to make charging convenient and enjoyable. Enter the Tesla Diner and Supercharging Experience. Tesla constructs a vehicle-compatible futuristic diner and drive-in cinema at a supercharger location in Hollywood, California. It's very simple, to make it a pleasant experience rather than avoid it during charging time. Pull up to the Tesla supercharger, order food from your vehicle, and watch classic movies on a big screen, all while your electric car is being charged. This concept may soon be carried from state to state, adding even more fun during road trips for owners of Tesla vehicles. That is smart, turning superchargers into entertainment venues where you not only enhance brand loyalty, but also bring in new customers and make EV charging seem just as easy and simple as stopping at a gas station but so much cooler. Clearly, with Tesla's LFP battery expansion, new 4680 variants, and ultimately revolutionized charging experience, the company is not just evolving cars, but also the entire paradigm of the EV industry. Tesla isn't just innovating the present battery and charging technologies and evolving the cars, but also continuously evolving its cars via software. Physical improvement isn't the norm. Instead, its cars are treated as if in the smartphone age, when even new features and performance boosts are downloaded through over-the-air OTA updates such as those employed at Tesla. Recently, Tesla has been improving its artificial intelligence features through the continuing development of its autopilot and full self-driving FSD programs, boosting weekday on-road handling of lane changes in intersections and object recognition for a better driving experience. Tesla is also enhancing voice commands, energy efficiency, and entertainment features. The latest software lets drivers customize acceleration, set mood lighting, and even play cloud-based games directly on the entertainment screen. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Tesla is now rolling out software tailored specifically for China. In the present scenario, China has become the second largest destination for Tesla, wherein this organization tries to focus on the demand of local consumers. Therefore, Tesla is introducing software updates that are specifically for China, as adapted for driving patterns as well as regulations. One major update is Mandarin voice recognition and navigation built for very dense urban areas throughout China, as well as integrating others within WeChat and Bilibili 
with their cars for their Chinese buyers. In addition, the company is also working on V2X, Vehicle to Everything Communication Systems in China, which let cars talk to smart infrastructure such as traffic lights and signs. This technology can result in traffic flow and safety improvement at massive levels in Chinese cities. With such updates, Tesla has proven to adapt its offerings in keeping with the needs of the region to stay ahead in one of the most competitive markets of electric vehicles, EVs. Tesla is changing the way people drive. It will also change how people insure their cars. Under the Tesla insurance policy, it will now be using real driving data to compute personalized insurance rates, drive safer, pay less. And now, Tesla is taking it another step further and giving a discount on the FSD based on safe driving. Over time, if your safety score remains high, Tesla may reduce the cost of FSD for you. This strategy is brilliant. It incentivizes safe driving, increases FSD adoption, and helps Tesla collect even more real-world data to improve its self-driving software. Tesla is pushing boundaries with new 4680 battery technology, smarter software, and game-changing insurance plans. But what do you think? Would you trust Tesla's full self-driving? Let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Big things are coming, and you won't want to miss them fully.